How can I avoid getting pregnant without using medications? There are a variety of ways to avoid getting pregnant. Some of the methods used to avoid getting pregnant require the use of medications, such as birth control pills. Unfortunately, medications are not always a birth control option. For some people, the risks involved with taking the birth control pill make it impossible for a woman to take them without creating severe problems. Fortunately, there are many ways to avoid getting pregnant without using medications. One way to avoid getting pregnant without using medications is the male condom. Condoms not only help reduce the incidence of STDs and AIDS, they are also very effective at preventing pregnancy. Used exactly as instructed and used every time during intercourse, the male condom is around 97% effective at preventing pregnancy. During typical use, condoms are around 86% effective at preventing pregnancy. Most condom failures occur because of improper use of the condom. Condoms are most effective when used correctly and used alongside spermicides. Condoms are easily obtained and relatively inexpensive. A diaphragm is also an option that will help you avoid getting pregnant without using medications. The diaphragm is a shallow frisbee-like cup that you fill with spermicide and insert into the vagina before having sex. Diaphragms are individually fitted. They are around 94% effective is used consistently and correctly. The diaphragm takes practice to put in correctly, and you must insert it shortly before having sex. The female condom can also help you to avoid getting pregnant without using medications. One end of the female condom is placed inside the vagina, covering the cervix. The female condom is not as effective as the male condom at preventing either STDs or pregnancy. Female condoms are also more expensive than male condoms. The use of a spermicide can also help to prevent pregnancy. A spermicide is a chemical that can kill or disable sperm to prevent pregnancy. The most common spermicide is called nonoxinal 9. Spermicides may come in a variety of forms, such as cream, foam, suppositories, film, or jelly. Spermicides are typically inserted shortly before intercourse. Spermicides used alone are not as effective as condoms at preventing pregnancy. When used as directed and under optimal conditions, spermicides are around 80% effective at preventing pregnancy. Because circumstances vary, the typical use of spermicide is closer to 70% effective at preventing pregnancy. There are also options that will help you avoid getting pregnant without using medications or using contraceptive devices, such as those described above. The withdrawal and rhythm methods, while they have a much lower success rate than contraceptives, may be able to help in cases where neither medication nor contraceptive devices are options. The withdrawal method involves removing the penis from the vagina before ejaculation occurs. Withdrawal can be as little as 73% effective at avoiding pregnancy, or can be as much as 96% effective. The success rate of withdrawal relies primarily on the male partner's ability to know when he is going to ejaculate, and his self-control in being able to withdrawal. The rhythm method is based on the idea that you won't have sex when you are fertile. This works best for women who have a regular cycle, and perfectly practice the rhythm method. This method does require constant vigilance, and cooperation of your partner. For religious and other reasons, this is the preferred birth control method for many women. Rhythm, like withdrawal, can be very effective. However, if a woman doesn't have a menstrual cycle that is constant and predictable, the chances of becoming pregnant increase. The chances of becoming pregnant also increase dramatically if the partners don't strictly follow the calendar. The choice of birth control depends on factors such as a person's health, frequency of sexual activity, number of partners, and desire to have children in the future. Effectiveness rates 
based on statistical estimates, are another key consideration. Religious beliefs certainly play a part, as well. Ultimately, the best approach is to make an informed decision based on all of the facts. Whatever method you use, it is important to practice it correctly. I ask three favors. 1. Subscribe. 2. Share it with your friends and family. 3. Give a like.